sword comes naturally Why? to me. Why? Comes naturally? Well, I mean, I've done a lot of combat training. You've done a lot, training. Of, a lot of combat training. What about you? I guess I'll take the spear if you've got the sword. Yeah, and yeah. it would be a great team. Yeah. I like, want to say hunter because it sounds cooler, but I know that I wouldn't want to run that much, so I'm going to say gatherer. Cause... I like running. I'll, I'll run. You can be the hunter. Okay, I'll hunt you gatherer. Done. Gathering's great. Just foraging, you know? Yeah. Kind great. of like flower arranging, Grapes, but for food. wheat, nuts. Yeah, little just, berries. Yeah, sit there with the bowl of berries. Yeah, I'll probably just eat it all before we get back to the tribe. Woolly mammoth, I think. If you can ride it. You can't ride a saber-toothed tiger. No. No, they I mean, both a saber-toothed be... tiger is cool. Right, but woolly mammoth, it sounds so lovely, but they're still pretty scary. Yeah. I think it'd be if you were face-to-face -face with one. I'll go saber-toothed tiger. Okay. Just for with, argument's sake. With the sword and the tiger? That's a formidable picture you're painting there. <laughs> That's me. I'm so scary. When I saw you, I walked in, I thought, Bronze Age. Yeah. That's the first thing I thought. <laughs> I thought Stone Age when I looked at you. Did you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Volcano explosions are not fun. Yeah, but like it's quite quick, I'd hope. <laughs> yeah. And if you're lucky, you get preserved like the citizens of Pompeii. Right, and then you'd be talked about for years. For years, I mean, like, we're still talking about Pompeii. Go down in history yeah. and be like made into a yeah. film with Kit Harrington and his hair. Yes. Volcano explosion, done. Wow, we got there in the end. <laughs> Thanks for playing.